Hello everyone, my name is Feed Alligators and welcome to another video. And today we will be taking a look at the best 725 sawed off class setup. Now personally for me the 725 is my most used weapon. Because for me even though a lot of people hate when I use it, it's just extremely good. And especially the sawed off version of it because it has an insane ADS speed and movement speed and also a lot of damage range. And also with shoot the ship added back into the game, it is very fun to play with this. And all around, I feel like because newer guns have been added, not a lot of people have been taking a look at the 725. Even though in my opinion, I think it is the best gun in the game. And so with that, let's hop into the class setup. The first attachment we are going to want is choke. Now this attachment is good for any shotgun that you want to add some range to. Because what it does is it tightens the pellet spread a lot. And this is very helpful because with the sawed off barrel our pellet spread gets very very wide. And so the choke helps bring it down a little bit and also give us a lot more range while aiming in. The next attachment is the sawed off barrel. This barrel gives us way more movement speed and speeds up our ADS speed by a ton. If you haven't watched Exclusive Ace's video I would highly recommend watching it on the 725. Because what I didn't realize is stock, this gun has one of the slowest ADS speeds in the game. And so making a sawed off version of this gun is a very very good idea because we still keep a lot of the range that comes with the gun stock, but it's a lot faster. The next attachment is going to be the sawed off stock. This is very similar to the sawed off barrel, it gives us better movement speed and ADS speed, but it gives up a lot of recoil control. Which is somewhat noticeable if you are firing the gun in quick succession. But for the most part, it is very controllable just because it's one single shot. The next attachment is an absolute necessity for this gun. And that is sleight of hand. Now one downside to using a gun that only has two shots is you will run out of ammo very quick. Especially if you need that second shot. So sleight of hand is very good because even though this gun has a kind of slow reload, you're going to want to make it as fast as possible. And with sleight of hand, it speeds up the reload speed by a ton. And last but not least, we have the Tempest Slim Grip. Some of you may be surprised that I am not using the TAC Laser on this class setup. Even though I do think the TAC Laser is one of the best attachments in the game, this speeds up our ADS speed and movement speed more than the TAC Laser does. What well, doesn't speed up our movement speed, but what it does have is sprint to fire speed. And that is very important for rushing around. And that is the one reason why I put the slim grip on instead of the tack laser. And with all this out of the way, let's hop into the gameplay. As you can tell, this gun is insanely quick. Not only in ADS speed, but also in movement speed. And also, despite how fast it is, this gun still has a very, very good amount of range. And also with the help of sleight of hand, our reload is very quick in case we need to get that second shot off or if we need to reload. And honestly for me, I feel like the 725 is very underappreciated. A lot of people don't like using the gun because especially in lobbies for me, a lot of people say it's a very cheap weapon to use. But you could make any case for like the MP5 or any of the other very very quick killing guns. So people who complain about other people using the 725 most likely are also the people who rush around with the MP5, which is by far the best submachine gun in the game. And I know especially in Search and Destroy, there is a massive amount of people who just will outright kick or just leave the game if someone's using a 725. I could see that being a real threat if the person is camping, but honestly, if anybody camps with a shotgun, they're not very good at the game and a lot of people in the lobby won't like you. But I see it being perfectly fine if you're just running around with the shotgun. Not if you're like camping or mounting behind corners, but if you're legitimately rushing around and sprinting to places. And it makes extremely good sense to use it because if you get the bomb and have to plant it, then you can just rush around and flank people who are trying to defuse it. And of course, vice versa. And so with that, we will conclude the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment anything down below, such as what you thought of the video or future video ideas. And I will see you all next time.